Hello drafters, recently Creality was kind enough to send me their latest 3D printer, the Creality High Combo. And to return the favour, I'm creating a beginner series on how to use this 3D printer. It will be a three part series covering unboxing and assembly, the Creality Print Slicer software, and 3D printing in multicolor using the Creality Material system. I aim to produce the perfect content for anyone that is interested in this 3D printer, or have already got one and looking to get the most out of it and learn a few things along the way. This is part one of the Creality High Combo beginner series, focusing on the unboxing, assembly, and setting up your new 3D printer. Before we begin, I would also like to thank the sponsor who keeps the studio lights on, and they are PCBWay. They offer high quality PCB fabrication from single to multi-layer boards. They also do CNC machining, injection molding, and 3D printing, perfect for full prototyping, and they can even do assembly. Great if you're building enclosures, brackets, or electronics into your prints. Upload your files, get an instant quote, and track your order online with ease. Turnaround times are fast and the quality is consistently reliable. Tons of options of materials, finishes, and colors to make your parts look professional. Head to PCBWay.com today and bring your next project to life. Now let's begin with the unboxing of the Creality High Combo. Put the box on the floor ensuring that it is facing up and safely open it with a cutting tool. Remove the few components you see stored in the foam and then remove the top protective foam. You can then carefully remove the CMS unit and put it aside. Remove any remaining foam and you should see a cardboard diagram which gives you the steps on removing the rest of the printer from the packaging. Under this diagram board is another piece of foam with some components tucked in it which you can remove as well. Below this you should see and be able to remove the top gantry and under that will be the printer base. Taking a closer look at some of the first components you should see the filament buffer, a bag of cables for the CMS unit and also a bag of Bowden tubing. You can then also take the CMS unit and remove any of the plastic wrapping. This CMS unit is Creality's new material system and up to four of these units can be connected together onto one printer allowing for up to 16 different colors in your prints. From one of the other foam boards you removed, make sure to take out the filament spool holder parts, a small filament sample, the power cord and a bag of tools and parts. In the tool bag you'll find things like filament guide, a sheet of stickers, instruction booklets, nozzle cleaner, plier cutters, and various other components, fasteners, etc. There's even some grease for later maintenance. So with everything accounted for, you can put the top gantry and printer base on a table and remove any safety stickers. Push the printer build plate forward and then carefully insert the top gantry into the base. There are some small screws to secure the gantry in place, so using the medium size allen key, fasten down the gantry to the base. Next you need to look at the back of the machine and tighten a few more screws. Next attach the motor and Z-axis cables while also making sure to tuck in any loose cable inside the machine which will allow the cover plates to sit on nice and flush. Repeat this for the other side of the gantry except there will just be one cable in this side. Then you can find these little grey covers and they simply snap into place. Next we need to attach the top spool and if you look on top of the gantry you should see a sticker indicating where it should go. Taking the spool holder parts you can simply insert them together and twist lock them. You then need the filament guide it should face up. There is a really small screw and that will secure it in place using the smallest allen key. Now one other thing is to make sure the filament guide should be in line with the spool holder. And if you put it on the wrong side like I have here, you can simply untwist, remove it and put it on the other side because it is bi-directional. Now we can put the filament spool holder onto the top gantry, which you can do by carefully bending open the plastic clamp and slotting it over the top gantry frame and it should click into position. The side display can rotate into position and you can remove the screen protector. The final thing to do is connect the main cable to the tool head. So run the cable up through the cable guides on the frame and snap the guides closed to hold the cable in place. Make sure the cable connector is in the right direction and then push it into the connector. 
Check that the gantry can move freely up and down without the cable getting caught on anything. If for some reason you need to disconnect this main cable, all you need to do is use the corner edge of this plastic back plate and pull it away as you can see with the instructions printed on the back of it. Then by pushing on the connector pin and gently wriggling it out, it should release from the connector socket. The plastic plate can then just clip back into place by firmly pressing it around the edges, hearing it snap back together. Now plug in the power cable, connect the power to a power outlet, and turn on the back power switch. After a brief startup, you should see the screen is on and you can go through the setup process, which is quite straightforward and easy to follow. I highly recommend downloading the Creality Cloud app on your phone and creating an account so you can sync the printer to your profile. Here you can see I have a few printers under my account and I can seamlessly switch between them. Continue to follow any on-screen instructions and you should get to a step about calibrating the printer. So start the calibration process and the printer will automatically go through a bunch of steps to test and calibrate the machine. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes and if there is any issue, simply shut the power switch off the back and contact Creality Support. Otherwise, it should all calibrate with all green check marks and no problems. This calibration process is basically going through things like the auto bed leveling and other features to ensure that your 3D printer is at peak condition and ready to print. Congratulations, you have your printer assembled and ready. In part two of this series, we'll go through the Creality Print software, where to get 3D models and doing your first print. If you found value in this video, then subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and thanks for watching. See ya in part two.